Hello Svengers, it's me Svenny McGee. Today we're going to be looking at these guys here, the component cables for the PSP Go. Let's jump right in and take a look. All right, this is the PSP Go component cable. You can see it's got the PlayStation insignia here. You can see it here, it says Sony PSP. And of course you have your five cables, three of which are for video. These two are for audio. And we can hook this up directly to the television. One thing I do want to show you right off the bat, this is not the one for the regular PSP. That is a separate one altogether. And again, even these pillar parts look the exact same. You still have your five pieces on the end, but obviously we've got our differences here. This one here, of course, connects to your PSP 2000, 3000 series like so. Whereas clearly this model here is made with that proprietary PSP Go connection port to go right in the bottom like such. Before we test these out just want to note that there is also an AV cable composite cable available from Sony but today we are looking at component 5 cables. Another thing to note while this is plugged in this is also our source for charging therefore just like the lightning jacks on an Apple you cannot charge this you, while this is plugged in at the same time. All right, we're hooking it up to the back of the TV. You can see again, so you don't confuse your red cabling here. This one does have an audio insignia around the bottom here, so we know that we're gonna get the right connection the first time. All right, so the cabling is plugged in. I have my PSP Go. Again, that beautiful slide. And we're gonna connect it. And I'm gonna go to connected display. This is in the settings here, and I'm gonna go connected display settings underneath Bluetooth. I'm going to go to switch video output and we're going to say yes and the screen goes all black but there we are so now I can control it using this on the screen. I'm going to say no. You can hear the audio as I'm clicking through and on the screen here I can now go to if I want to change it to 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 because this unit outputs at 480, this will actually allow for 480p on television. And again, I'm just using the unit here itself to be steering around town. Now here's PlayStation 1 again running on here. But you'll see because I had it on that 16x9, it does come through a little bit uh, stretched. However, going back to the settings and setting it to 4x3 and of course making sure that my television is also set to normal aspect ratio to match, you can see it comes through just fine and clear with that 4x3 ratio as originally intended. Just further note though that this is coming through at 480p but it is not upscaling it in any way. So you're still going to see any of that extra jankiness etc that would have been there from the original. Again, this isn't doing any extra horsepower. We're just displaying it on the screen. And again, I'm back here in that 4x3, but I just wanted to show also that you can go back to video output and put it back to no, but it appears that also if you just disconnect it, it just straight up goes back to the console itself. So thanks again for watching today's video on the PSP Go component cables and setting them up and checking them out. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing as it always helps grow my channel. Until I see you guys again soon, I hope you all take care be good to each other. Bye now.